Okay, so today I'm going to be doing the locker, uh, the locker puzzle, and uh, let's uh, start doing this locker puzzle. And again, uh, I'm doing this for uh, the people who are struggling with this program. But if you if you're still here to learn, and any other reason, that's also fine. So let's get started. So it says a student has. A school has 100 lockers and 100 students. All lockers are closed on the first day of school. As the students enter the first student, owner de denoted uh, student 1 opens every locker. Then the second student, student 2, begins with the, the second locker denoted locker 2 and closes every other locker. Student 3 begins with the third locker and changes every third locker, closes it if it's opened and uh, opens it if it's closed. Student 4 begins with the 4th locker and changes every 4th locker. And student 5 starts with the 5th the locker and changes every 5th locker. And so on. And so the 100th uh, student uh, changed uh, the, the locker on him. So after all the uh, students have passed through the building and changed the locker, which lockers are open? What, uh, write a program that finds your answer and displays all open lockers. Uh, I'll open locker numbers separate by exactly one space. Uh, and it gives us a hint. Use an array of 100 Boolean elements, each of which indicate whether a locker is opened, which is true, and uh, closed, which is false. And initially, all lockers are closed, so that means everything is false. Uh, you must indicate doc uh, documentation. And a screenshot of uh, the results full quick. And it gives us the Boolean, so we don't have to figure that out. So, um, let's go ahead and create a, a, a project. Okay, and we can call it the Locker uh, Program, I guess. And then, um, <clears throat> right click it and create a, a class and we can call this locker just for the city and then um again let's start with the uh, stating at what we need so uh so it gives us the boolean so let's copy that down the array so um And let's state out some things. So, um, all, uh, oh yeah, um, let's state out the key. So, false equals, um, false equals closed. And, uh, true equals open. Okay. And what else? Um. Okay. So there's not not much to write here. Okay. So let's start out with writing the main, the main method. Okay. So it's main public static void main string and then args. And then your curly braces. So um. Let's start out by uh, writing the the boolean. Okay, so I paste that here, but you can write it boolean, and then um, locker equals new boolean, and then uh, with the uh, uh, it's called the braces, and yeah, you just, you put a hundred in there. Okay, so with all this said, you don't need a scanner because we're not asking anything. So uh, let's 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 create a for group, or we can use a while loop. So for this program, we're gonna have to go through all the lockers and see which ones are open, and which ones are closed. So um, let's start with the. So let's start. Let's do for a for loop because that's much simpler for this program. Yeah, that's 
purpose. And yeah, well, probably it's gonna be one. Because we're gonna start the first log here. <coughs> and then let's create another for group to do uh to find I'm um, change it to true and or false. So um and uh and t equals one and t is less than the locker a link and t okay for this one it's gonna be t plus equals i equals i because um it's gonna allow us to like uh to skip like skip counts like if i is two so if i is two it's gonna like skip like it's gonna count by two so like if i did plus plus it's gonna add by one but if it's if i do t plus equals i if i is uh five it's gonna it's gonna count by five. So if it's like one, it's gonna go to five, ten, fifteen, and then it's, it's gonna continue like that. So yeah, we need to use this one for this. So in this for loop, we're gonna we're gonna not not for loop. We're gonna say if. So if um if um locker at, at t. It equals uh, false. So they said if 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 uh, if it equals false, change it to true. So one thing, one more thing. We can, we can't say logger at t equals false. So because we're gonna initialize something, we need to say equal equals, uh, which is gonna and then equal equals is gonna check whether it if it's false, not not initialize it to false. So in here, we're going to initialize logger at t equals true, and we're going to use equals instead of equal equals. And then um, we're going to, um, instead of doing else if, we're going to do else because there's only two options. If it's, uh, if logger at t is false or true. So we're going to set it to, uh, because we already said if it's false, we're gonna, I mean, it's false. Because false, false means if it's, if locker at is true. So if it's true, we're gonna set it to false. Okay, so this is pretty much the, the script, but we need to check. So to check, we need to go outside the for loops, which is right here. Check, you can do this. Yeah, it's a for loop, and here is um, that's the for loop. So let's get a for loop, and i equals zero. Well, i, oh, yeah, it's one. If it's zero, there's probably gonna be error anyway. So i equals um. And i equals zero one at well i is less than logger dot length i plus plus then we're gonna print out logger at i so logger at i is gonna print out if it's true or false and let's make a called space and let's print out i i is gonna print out the number so we can know both the number and whether it's true or false okay um excuse me there oh yeah plus i need to add plus okay so if this is correct every true should be um okay um there's something wrong because every true should be uh, the perfect squares and two is not a perfect square Okay, let's check what we did wrong. 
Okay, I go here. I said four int i equals one. Oh, okay. So for this one, I said four int t equals one. This should be t equals i. <laughs> and the reason I'm doing i is because I'm in this for loop, and I I, I already initialized i as one. So so either way, instead of instead of initializing this as one. I can just do i as i because i is already 1. Okay, let's check. Let's check. Yeah, it's correct. Okay, so 1 should be true because that's a perfect square. 4 is a perfect square. 9 is also a perfect square. And 16, so it goes on. And that's how you know it's correct. Every, every, um, every uh every every true is a perfect square and there is math behind this and if you want me to do the math you can comment down in, in, the, in the comments and um and i'll see if i can do the math behind this and that's all guys if this helped give it a like and thank you for watching and uh if you're new, subscribe.